Excuse, excuse me. Come back here. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another video with me. My name is Amy, if you're new here, and I have been following the starch solution and using the principles of low calorie density to lose 60 pounds over the last couple of years. Uh, you've joined me in an absolute madhouse <laughs> with my two babies. I am a busy mum of two, and I want to show you what I eat every single day to make this lifestyle work for me. And today is a prime example because we're going to be out all day long. I don't know why I'm crouched over. I could literally just move you like that. There we go. Um, so yes, I'm gonna be. We're gonna be out all day long. We're going to Darlington, um, and so I'm bringing everything with me. I'm making loads of food. I don't have loads of time. I'm feeding my kids on the go. So I thought it'd be a great opportunity to show you the madness of that and how I make um, the starch solution work for me on a very busy day. So okay, the kids have had breakfast. They've had avocado toast, grapes, and what else have they had? And porridge. And porridge. Okay. So now I'm just, I'm just trying to think about what I'm taking with me. So I know that I'm really craving sweet potatoes today. I don't know if you saw my video yesterday, but my husband bought me loads of white flesh sweet potatoes, which are delicious. Uh, and I did cook up a gigantic batch, three bags worth yesterday, but I literally have, I'll show you what I've got left. I literally have that left. Do you know why? Because everyone, not only did I eat loads, but everyone stole them because they're that amazing. That's what I love. And really. Mm. Robbie's so chatty today. Um, when you make healthy stuff and you have it available in your house, your family just eats it. They start to snack on things. So, you know, it's when you start transitioning to this way of eating, get your family involved. Make loads, have it out and about, make it available. My kids ate so many sweet potatoes yesterday. My mum and my sister came around. I think they ate some sweet potatoes yesterday. So it's really lovely. Abe wants to play hide and seek. I'm going to do that in a minute. Um, you don't want to play hide and seek. What do you want to play? Mm, that makes sense. I'd love to, Poppy. Let me just... I need to quickly figure out what I'm going to make you for lunch, babes, okay? okay. Fantastic. So, um, so yeah, so the sweet potatoes, my point being, as soon as I woke up this morning, I came downstairs and I shoved loads of sweet potatoes in the oven. Um, so those, I'm really hoping they're going to be ready before we leave. Otherwise, I'll be really sad. <laughs> so I did some white flesh ones and some regular orange ones. And I was, is that brainy? <laughs> I was going to turn the orange ones into some kind of pudding and then just eat the white ones. So that was my strategy. So I'll do that if I can. But I also made loads of burgers yesterday. Um, everyone ate loads of burgers yesterday, to be fair. Abe ate loads and my, I think, did Grandma and Mama eat some as well? Some burgers. Mama said she had some. Loads of burgers went down. You know, I ate loads of burgers when I went out for my meal yesterday. Um, and everyone else was having burgers, so actually it was pretty fitting that I took some burgers with me. But we do still have loads left, so I'm just going to bring this entire thing. Um, and then we can buy buns for people who want buns. Um, and then... Yay! I do love burgers. Yes. Um, and so I just really need to figure out what I'm having for breakfast and what veggies I'm going to be having with my burgers. Um, we're going to probably be back for... Oh dear, porridge down. We're gonna be back for dinner and like I have on my meal plan, I have sushi for dinner tonight because it's quick and easy. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly cook up some sushi rice right now in the Instant Pot so that when we get back, we've got sushi rice and I can quickly put some sushi together. Super pronto. So I'll show you what that looks like. Oh, when I have it all together, all my stuff packed. Um, so yes, I'll show you what I have when I pack. What do you want? Do you want some chickpea cookie dough? This one. Here you go. My mum made some chickpea chocolate chip cookie dough yesterday, so that'll be for the kids. Um, so yes, I'll show you what I have when I put it all together and I'm ready to go. But it's going to be a crazy day. Um, it's a long weekend in this house, um, and yeah, I don't know how much I'll be able to film for the rest of the day, but I'll try and show you what I can. Okay, so we are leaving in 45 minutes, and I still have a lot of stuff to do. But I wanted to take you in here because I want to show you what I'm going to decide to take with me today. So I have got a big bag of kale. 
I've got some green beans, which sound yummy, actually. I'm going to do... So, basically, my thought process is I'm going to do um, overnight oats and a big pile of veggies for my breakfast. That is one of the best weight loss breakfasts I can imagine. That If I was going to have the perfect weight loss, maximum weight loss day, I would go for a huge pile of veggies and then something to do with oats, because I love oats as well. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do... I'm going to do these. I'm also going to do some broccoli because I love broccoli. Um, oh, I don't have loads of broccoli left. Okay, so I've got that. I'll do one broccoli. Actually, I do two broccolis. One broccoli is good because we don't have enough. Okay, then I'm going to do a couple of courgettes. But they were frozen when we bought them and I think they're starting to go off. So they actually really need eating badly. Um, so I'm going to get a couple of these babies. Uh, green beans, broccoli, two courgettes. Okay, that seems pretty decent for the uh vegetable part of things i'll show you what i do when i cook up the um when i do the overnight oats what i'm also going to do is, okay now i need to think about my burgers so when we have burgers for lunch i'm not going to have any buns because i'm trying to go for, you definitely could have buns in this way of eating if you can find a nice all free bun or just occasionally have some bread and that's totally fine but i don't want to do that because i'm trying to kick it up a notch um so i'm not going to go for the bread so i'm going to need something as an alternative oh my sweet potatoes. Okay, fantastic. I totally forgot I had those. So I'm going to have my burgers, going to have my sweet potatoes. Now I need something on the vegetable side of things. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to go for, I'm going to eat a full cucumber, right? I'm going to eat a full cucumber. And so I'm thinking about what is fast. What is fast and easy to take when you are on the go? I really hope these carrots are good. Yes, I think they are. And I'm going to take a bag of carrots. So I'm going to load up on fresh, crunchy things. These are the things that are the easiest for me when I'm out and about. I don't have to cook them. I don't have to do anything. I just have to take the plastic off um, and eat them. Um, so I can literally do it anywhere, out and about, um, you know, totally up to me. Um, so anyway, I think that's what I'm going to go for. If I hadn't, if I didn't have those burgers, um, I probably could have just had the sweet potatoes and vice versa. Um, we also have some leftover rice. I could have made a big ricey stir fry. And I've also got some leftover curry. So I could have had curry with some of the rice. And it's a veggie kind of curry with the rice um, and my veggies. So those are all the kind of options that I could have had. But I'm going to go for just plain veggies, burgers and my sweet potatoes. So anyway, that's my thought process. That's what I'm doing. Making sure I've got my 50-50 plate. Got my veggies, got my starches. And I'm going to prep my sushi rice for when we come back later. So that I'm not, um, so that we're not waiting around for ages when we get back. I also don't know when we're going to get back. And that's the other element of this. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to make sure that um, I actually take loads more sweet potatoes than I think I'd need. I'm also am taking loads of extra burgers. So if we find ourselves in, our pos in a position where we're not going to be back for a couple of hours after we would have had dinner, then I can just munch on those in the car and that's totally fine. We can have the sushi rice another time. Um, anyway, that is my strategy. That is how I do this. We have been out for a good few hours and I don't even know what time it is. I'm going to say around 12, 12 30 or something like that. We are currently at my sister in law's house. Oh, lovely Christmas tree. Um, and I wanted to uh, show you what I'm having for breakfast, obviously. Um, I don't think I showed you all the food that I've got, um, that I brought with me, but I'll show you as the day goes on what I actually end up eating. This is my big pile of veggies. What have I got in here? Uh, green beans, a full broccoli, two carrots, um, two courgettes, and loads and loads and loads of mushrooms sauteed soy sauce and garlic and just some sesame seeds on the top for some fun so i'm going to start off with that one and then um i have got a lovely um jar of two minute oats with loads of fruit that i've got and i'll show you that in a little bit when i dig in but um yeah just honoring my hunger fullness cues today wasn't hungry till now so now is when i'm snacking okay it's breakfast part two i have finished part one it was delicious it's now about one o'clock um and this is my breakfast part two so what have i got in here full cup of oats two no a full cup of oats a full cup of water half a cup of soy milk a tablespoon of flax and then loads of fruit i've got frozen cherries frozen mango and an apple chopped in there as well if it needs more sweetness i will put a banana in too but um to be fair there's plenty of um plenty of fruit in here so it should be good but anyway this is my breakfast part two this is my day of ultimate weight loss eating whilst out and about this is my dream day of eating so if you guys are wanting to um to know what i would eat every single day this is it mm. Mm. actually plenty sweet don't need a banana i'll save my banana for later hello guys how you doing 
Um, so it's been quite a while since I've filmed. It's about 5.30 at night and we are now currently back at home, obviously. Um, so we had a lovely day out with the fam. Oh, got to cuddle our new little baby niece again. And she is just so tiny. Romy looks like an actual giant in comparison um to a six week old obviously um but <laughs> it's just really funny um but no we had a really lovely day and the reason why i haven't filled anything else is because i haven't actually eaten anything else so for some reason today's just one of those days where i'm just not super hungry so i ate all my veggies and then i had a few ma are you oh cheeky rascal she is chalking up my leg you little muffin well i guess as long as you're enjoying yourself eh? um yeah, I had all my veggies. There was a lot of veggies in there, like a hell of a lot of veggies. Um, then I had a few mouthfuls of my overnight oats or my two minute oats. Then I got distracted with something um, and I was cuddling a baby um, for a long time. And then and I just wasn't hungry. So I think I had that part of my breakfast at like 3, 3.30 or something like that. And it's 5.30 now, so I've not really been hungry. I did add a banana to it, uh, to my overnight oats. Oh, hello, hello, beautiful. Come here, little love. Um, so we've just gotten home. Abe is fast asleep on the couch. It's going to be a late night for him when he wakes up. Um, and Romy and I, James is doing some work. Romy and I decided to do a little bit of a bouncing session. So I just put some really good music on and was doing some bouncing. Um, and yeah, that was really fun. Romy loved it. Um, but I think I'm starting to get a bit hungry. And Abe's going to wake up asking for food. Romy must be hungry soon. So we're going to go and make some dinner. Um, and I'm like, not quite sure whether to have my lunch for dinner, which is going to be like the sweet potatoes, all the raw veggies and stuff, and maybe some burgers, or whether to have some sushi. They all sound like really good options. I might keep the sushi. No, I'm going to have the sushi now. I'm going to have the sushi now. I really fancy the sushi. It's been a while. Um, and I'm going to keep the sweet potatoes and burgers for tomorrow because we're going out and about into town. So actually, those will be great things to take with me. Um, we've got some last minute Christmas shopping to do. I leave it super late. I've got loads of stuff I need to buy. Naughty me. Um, don't you eat that, you sausage. Um, so actually, yeah, sweet potato burgers will be fantastic food on the go for me tomorrow. I don't want to eat it. Blech. Blech. <laughs> but I had a revelation, which I just wanted to share with you guys. Because... Ooh, so it's a really small thing, but I tell you, I think it's making a difference. I think it's going to make a difference anyway. So I'm just going to pretend as if I'm talking to Romy because I think she wants to see my face. So I was doing a little bounce session just now and I was listening to a new song that I don't usually listen to. And it was upbeat. It was, it, it had such a good vibe. It was like mood. Why are you always in a mood? That song. I don't really know what it's called. I think it's mood. Um, but it was such a really good song and I was really enjoying it. And then I was thinking, I've had a workout bouncing playlist, the same playlist for the last like year or maybe longer than that, maybe since, since, maybe since I got pregnant. Oh God, it's been like two years. Um, and I feel like I'm just a bit tired of that music. And that's the music I, I've been listening to when I do my bouncing. So I've not been truly inspired to get my bouncing in. And maybe it could be the smallest thing, like switching up my playlist and adding in some different music or creating a brand new playlist with fresh music to give me some real inspiration to start bouncing again. It sounds so small, but actually I think that'll make a big difference if I get inspired by something and I'm not just bored of the music I'm listening to. Anyway, like I said, I'm playing around with loads of different options to see what'll get me to do that bouncing. So it could be that. So I'm gonna try that out. Remember, we're on this journey together, guys, and I'm gonna show you every step of my thought process and hopefully eventually I'll find what works and you guys will have seen me get there. So hopefully that'll be helpful in your lives. You guys can do the same in whatever obstacles you're facing. Um, so I need to create a new playlist. Um, I am rubbish at finding songs, at figuring out what songs I like. Like That's really not my forte. I usually leave that to James. He creates the playlists and I tend to listen to them, but he does not work out. So he did not have any good workout music. So um, I need to find some music, but this is what I was thinking. If you guys know any fantastic, upbeat, workouty music, not like just boom, 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 but just with an actual song, um, will you let me know? Um, because I would, yeah, boom, 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 is that what mummy said? Boom, 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 boom. If you guys have any good music that you think would be good for working out, please let me know down below. And that would be so incredible. I'll let you know which songs I end up using. Anyway, I'm gonna go make some sushi. Mmm, just had a bath. 
honestly bath times especially solo bath times i know i've said this before just so lovely just so lovely <laughs> anyway um my husband has prepped all the sushi veggies and i'm gonna go downstairs and make a lot a lot of sushi um abe's gonna want one or two james wants two i usually have two sushis but i often after sushi night i often end up feeling really really full like i put a lot of rice in my sushis so i, I should maybe uh, i don't like the feeling of feeling way too full obviously it's not great either hunger fullness cues wise but is you are you fuzzy are you fuzzy maybe it's just the lighting but anyway um so what i might do is i might just put slightly less rice in my sushi so i don't end up overstuffed and i also generally snack on the rice while i'm making sushi so my my thought process is i've got a big pile of fruit and veggies that i cut up and took to darlington with us today <clears throat> And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have that next to me and I'm going to snack on that while I'm making my sushi. That's my plan. Um, anyway, I'm going to go down and do that because I'm getting very hungry now. Um, and yeah, there's loads of stuff I want to chat to you about that's in my head, but I haven't got the time. So I'll try and do it later. If not, I'll do it next time. I wanted to show you my sushi set up. So got my rice, got all my veggies. I don't tend to do a lot of avocado because... I'm not really that bothered about it. I don't really feel like I can actually taste must have much avocado in there anyway. Um, so I like to have avocado and other stuff. Um, and these are the veggies I was chatting about. I don't think I really showed you what I took to Darlington. So I took what I've eaten. And then these are all the veggies I got. I, basically a full cucumber, carrots and a persimmon as well. So I'm actually just going to snack on... Mm, snack on that while I'm making it. So I'm looking after this little nugget while we do sushi. And she often doesn't like being not held. So, as I had an idea about getting a little ball, I'm going, boing! Rose, where's your ballie? Where's your ballie? Go get your ballie. Good girl. So I had a brainwave about hot chocolate. And I want to tell you. Mm. Do you want to go in the air, girl? Are you tired? Mm. If you're hungry, fruit and veggies taste amazing. If you're thinking about something else and these do not sound appealing, it's because you're probably not hungry. I'm going to go make a sushi. Chat later. Okay, dinner is ready and I'm very excited to dig in. Oh my gosh, this looks so delicious. So I was snacking on my fruits and veggies. I have also paired my sushi with the rest of the fruits and veggies because I haven't finished it yet. This is my incredible sushi. I am so excited about it. So when I do sushi, I do a little splash of hoisin because it makes it very special. I know it's a bit naughty, but that's what I like to do. Sometimes I'll do um, silken tofu, garlic mayo in there and like mashed chickpeas. Don't know why, but it's really good. I'll show you that when my silken tofu gets here. But anyway, this is hoisin. Um, the yellow orangey stuff, the, no, the yellow stuff is pickled radish. I've got carrots, cucumber, tofu, and then sesame seeds. Um, and then I do pickled ginger, obviously. So anyway, that is my delicious 50-50 plate. I'm gonna go and stuff my face. I did make two sushis, but I did slightly less rice in them than I usually would. So probably was about two cups instead of three cups of rice. Anyway, super hungry, gonna go and eat this now. Mm. So Friday night, as you guys know, is family movie night in our house. And we're gonna choose something festive to watch, which would be fun. But I was really in the mood for a hot chocolate. And I'll tell you my thoughts about a hot chocolate. <clears throat> I'm hesitant, I love hot chocolate. It's like my favorite snuggly drink of all time, aside from tea. <clears throat> but I'm hesitant about making it too much because it's got quite a lot of sugar in it. Well, like a tablespoon, but it's not something that I want to have on a daily basis. But I was thinking about how to get the sweetness in um, and also kind of like how to give it like a thickish hot chocolatey vibe. And I was thinking sweet potato hot chocolate. That might sound crazy. You guys might have made it before. I don't know. But I've never had it before. And I thought it was a great idea that needed to be tried. So I'm going to try it out. I don't know how sweet it's going to be with just the sweet potato. Hopefully it won't need any other sweetness for me. But I'm going to wait and see. It might need like a date. Or might be a little bit of maple syrup. I'm going to try it out and I'll let you guys know how it goes. Um, but if it goes well, I'll do a recipe over on Instagram that you can check out. Let's do this. 
<clears throat> okay, so I think I'm actually in love. This is incredible. So this, <clears throat> it's good. It's really good. Um, now you could add more sweetener if I want, if you wanted to. I feel like this is perfectly fine for me. I haven't added any sweetener, <clears throat> and I'll tell you what I did. So this is a quarter of a a quarter cup of sweet potato. The sweet potato has to be baked in the oven, super, super sweet and delicious. Make sure you have a really yummy one because that's going to bring out the flavour. Then I've done a cup of soy milk and two tablespoons of co unsweetened cocoa powder and, and like four drops of um, my peppermint um, essence or extract or whatever it's called and literally blend it up and then I've just heated it in the microwave because I'm lazy and it's so thick. Mm. It's so thick and delicious. Oh, let me... See if I can show you the texture. Can you see the thick texture on that? Oh my gosh, it's incredible. Mm. Like I said, you can uh, you can make it sweeter if you want to, but mine doesn't need it. I just need a little bit of sweetness, and the sweet potato gives me that. Mm. Delicious. Anyway, I'm going to go and enjoy this with my family um, and watch a lovely movie, and I'll chat to you later.